Hello and welcome to Maths with Jacob. This lesson will focus on area of plane figures, perimeter of plane figures. As always, a special puzzle to warm up the brain cells is on the next slide. The answer will be given at the end. Enjoy. What is the meaning of the following? Good luck with it, it's one of my favourite ones and the answer is at the end. Definition of area. Area is a measure of how much space there is inside the boundary of a flat surface. Area is measured in square units. For example, if the boundary of a surface is measured in metres, then the area is measured in square metres. And this is the short way of writing square metres. In the next slide, the formulas for a number of popular plane figures will be given. An example will follow showing how to calculate the area for each figure. Firstly, we start with a square. The square is the blue object. Here it is here. This is a square where each side is B units long. Now to find the area of the square, we multiply B times B. So area equals B squared. The particular example, if B equals 3 metres, then we know that each side of the square is equal. So the area is 3 squared metres squared or square metres. Because here the area is B squared. So if B is 3, the area is 3 squared. 3 squared is 9, so the area is 9 square metres. For the yellow rectangle, we have the length of the rectangle is L and the width is W. The area of the rectangle is LW. The particular example, if L equals 5 metres and W equals 3 metres, then the area is 5 metres by 3 metres, which is 15 square metres, because 5 threes are 15. The area for a triangle, now this is any type of triangle, all you need to find the area of a triangle is the length of the base and the perpendicular height. Once you have those two measurements, the area is half base times height. That's the perpendicular height. In the example, if the base of this triangle is 8 metres and the height of the triangle is 4 metres, we substitute the numbers into the formula and we have area equals half times 8 metres times 4 metres. And if we work that out, 8 fours are 32 and half of 32 is 16. So the area is 16 square metres. Definition of perimeter. Perimeter is the total distance around the boundary of an enclosed plane figure. Perimeter is a measure of length, not area. It's a very important thing to remember. The answer is written in units of length. If we take our square, as we did before, and this time the length of each side of the square is L, the perimeter is 4L because there are four lengths, four lengths of the square. P stands for perimeter. So if L is 5 metres, the length of the side is 5 metres, then the perimeter is 4 times 5 metres, because there are four sides and each of them is 5 metres. So the perimeter of this square is 20 metres. For the rectangle, if the length is L and the width is W, the perimeter of the rectangle is 2L plus 2W units because there are two lengths and two widths. For the particular example, if L is 7, 
and W is 4 metres. The perimeter is 2 times 7, because there are two lengths, plus 2 times 4, because there are two widths. Two sevens are 14, so that's 14 there. Two fours are 8, there is your 8. 14 metres plus 8 metres gives you 22 metres. For a triangle, if you have a triangle and the lengths of the sides are A, B and C, the perimeter is A plus B plus C units. If A equals 6 metres, B equals 5 metres and C equals 4 metres, to obtain the perimeter you add those three lengths together and the answer is 15 metres. Here is a quick quiz with six questions to test your understanding and as always please check anywhere through the video if you need help and the answers are at the end. Now the answer to puzzle seven what is the meaning of the following and the answer is one foot in the grave. This is very interesting here that gives you a hint why it's one foot. I'll leave that to you to work that out. The answers to the quick quiz are here and please check through the video at any time if you need to verify anything or check anything. If you enjoyed this video please subscribe on the next slide and you will receive a notification as to when the next video is available. Hope to see you next lesson.